What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Grand Columbia. And in this episode, um, we have quite an important defensive battle to fight around the city of Mysore. Because right now, if we can hold, uh, we can actually make a really big dent in the Marathan forces uh, lines in southern India. So let's get ready to fight and destroy these enemy troops. Uh, the Marathas do have an awful lot of um, production capability, so if we can hold on to the gains that we've that we've made and potentially expand our foothold, uh, our production you know will start to take their production capability. So it's almost a double delta, sort of like voting, swing voting. If we take a city's worth of production from them it's kind of a double whammy a double you know, we get that production they lose that production okay so let's put our guns in the line against the marathas because that extra firepower is really useful bearing in mind that we do have there is potentially an enemy garrison force coming in from another direction, but I think a fairly straight line should be okay. We can redeploy it if necessary and keep our cavalry back as our mobile reserve. Drop the howitzers, they're only going to be firing quick line. One last gun team which is going to be deployed, well, they're going to be held back for now. Okay, how it... All my artillery, all my quicklime just focus on their... this big cluster of enemy cavalry. They push into our lines. Okay, it's two units, three units broken. So that's probably not going to last. Keep my artillery engaging them. The enemy are on the left. Well, the reinforcements are coming in on the left. So let's put our spare units out on the left. Our gunner. Gun teams stay where they are for now. You may deploy over here. Which to eviscerate these troops, these cavalry units coming in for now. Just focus on bombarding that Polygar unit. Yeah, heavy cavalry, they're a good cavalry unit. And as the as the area becomes secure, we'll start to redeploy. Okay, more the lances are coming back again. But yeah, maintain our line. That when that's done, we'll, we can rebalance this line to be more like this. Indian Cavalry Guards, Polygar, lots of good cavalry units. Okay, the Howitzers, you keep engaging them. Okay, you guys are limber. Are they getting ready? Yeah, they are. Those Royal Indian Cavalry Guards, they want to charge. Focus them. Bring the cavalry up. Siladar Lance is going to get some good damage against my cavalry. There we go, the Royal Indian Cavalry Guards attack has been blunted.
Okay, once the gun is blue once the gunners abandon their guns. No, they actually they've chosen they have chosen not to. No, you guys stay where you are, get the cavalry out of here. These men form a new line. Get my cavalry to run through the squares. It looks like they are pursuing us. The gunners still haven't abandoned the abandoned their guns yet, although they are wavering. I mean, I'm happy for them to abandon their guns if they want. I mean, this might make them abandon their guns. The Tribal Auxiliary putting a blast into the lances. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Ceasefire infantry maintain the square. That's fine. Maintaining the square is more important. Uh, the Bajia lances, if they're just going to stand there... Just keep blasting them. We're not worried about the armed populace. Oh, you are worried about those Indian cavalry guards, though. General's bodyguards taking infantry fire. Let's keep my some of my howitzers firing quick line onto the enemy. The human charge the armed populace. The Indian cavalry guards will be dealt with soon enough. The human form up. That's, en that's enough out of you. They got the rest of these mercenaries. Union of Lancers coming in. We're not really worried about them. The American Infantry Mercenaries form up. Okay, you attack them. You guys get ready to quickline the Hindu Warriors. When they come in range. There we go. They okay, pull my cavalry back. Push my line up. I mean, this gunner, gun unit can. Focus on the enemy artillery. Okay, 40th Regiment. Get out of square. Just try to haul these guns up into the line. Give them some space to work in. Get my cavalry up here. Yeah, they're breaking off their attack. And they're being depleted. Okay, it looks like the enemy... Starting to focus more on center. Advance troops into them. There we go, they've been broken. Just 
keep the critical line focusing on the Hindu warriors specifically. This gun team, yeah, drag yourselves up onto the hill. More lances. Yeah, they're getting picked apart. More crossfire in the center. Peasantry are wavering. Okay, run you men into the square. That's my cavalry. Charge my colonial lights into them. Be constantly aware of these lancers working the flank. Dari horsemen coming in. Okay, upgrade targets for quick climb. Native musket auxiliary, get them out of that gap. Charge the lances with my USC air. Enemy polygar to the rear. We got the charge on the lances. Should be able to tie them up quite nicely. Quick climb, smack the peasantry. This gunner up on the hill. He's ready to engage. Put my tribal auxiliary forward, fire it well on. You men engage their oligar. Enemy General's Bodyguards getting involved. That's a mistake. My Curassier love General's Bodyguards. Oh, I've got hit by the Dukami Lancers. That's okay. Where's that Polygar unit? Okay, right. Push the cavalry forward. Okay, the lancers are now on the flank. They're going to go for my artillery. Break up the line. You men break off as well. Okay, just try... Heroically try and intercept them. Just boop them. Boop that snoot. Okay, there we go. Kill the enemy general's bodyguard. The polygars being engaged by my artillery you keep chasing down the Hindu warriors this our cavalry unit can engage the gunners the new men form square as well everybody else up you go Uh, quick climb. Ugh. Okay, let's commit my cavalry to pursue and destroy. Let's kill the last of these foot artillery crewmen. Get the 
chase the rocket band crew. There you go, the cavalry have a taste for square formations. Chase the armed peasantry, I suppose. Better than nothing. Ceasefire all of the guns. General's bodyguard's probably going to chase down that armed peasantry. Come on, kill the last of the rocket band. Teach them what it means to make war against the Grand Columbia. That, and when you're fighting against the uh, fighting against the Marathas, you have to be this brutal. You just you can't. You have to just keep trying to kill as many of their units as possible because they will just churn out more and more and more. Chase, chase, chase. Kill what you can. If both of you guys go for this armed peasantry unit. Because loads of that those of those guys are either rockets or they, they're going to escape, so we may as well focus on killing units we can actually kill. And hoover up whatever experience we can. It's all of them. There's just you guys left. Your fire will is turned off, so you shouldn't shouldn't be killing all of our men. The last peasant got him. Nice. Very nice. This this army is getting quite experienced. Excellent. Back you go, you devils. And that's the garrison of Mysore itself destroyed. So they've got some problems to start thinking about. Ooh, where'd that fleet come from? Brilliant. They're going to go raid our port. You guys can wander around. Ooh! I was going to say wander around the periphery. Are you the guy in the town? Yes. So this army is the depleted army. So they're the ones to the south. The very last thing I want to help us is artillery. I want infantry to come in. Yes, we're going to draw them into the attack. Two full armies. Plus a reinforcement stack. I think it's these guys to the east. So they are going to get their way in with this artillery. Um, but it's going to be a bit of a slaughter fest. And this is exactly what we need to do. While we expand our bridgehead. And well reinforce and expand the bridgehead. We need to... We need to make sure that we... A trip their forces as much, as much as we can in defensive engagements which suit us and defending fortifications is brilliant especially when the enemy <laughs> the AI is so is very bloody minded so they already have a breach but it's facing the wrong direction we don't have any stakes which is unfortunate So we're going to have multiple breaches to contend with. Let's make sure the walls are defended. And these are the breaches that we made. So they aren't repaired yet. Okay, so we want one gun team... Ultimately, we're going to have a bit of a split focus for the time being.
in the short term, we want to make sure we're covering these breaches. Although we may want to, we may want to cover them a bit closer than that. We want our howitzers to be. They're not. Well, they can focus. They can focus on this direction because any troops trying to attack here will be attracted by men from this wall and this wall. I, I am going to keep my cavalry outside because I want the enemy to try and attack us. And we've got two units to defend any forward breaches that we, that we get. Okay, keep my foot artillery limbered up. Well, limbered up for the most part. We have got so many... Units. We've got so we've got we've got a quite congested battle space. We probably do want some gunnery set up. But the rest of the artillery stay limbered up, ready to fight. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my cavalry outside. Howitzers fire quick climb because our gunners on the wall are going to focus on the enemy. Enemy troops coming in. Yeah, the enemy has lots of artillery, so they are going to get make. They are going to get their way in. Well, depending on what they do, their their, their um, positioning might be sufficiently bad to prohibit um, an actual breach being made. But yeah, if they try and run around the walls to get into the breaches, they're going to be... They're going to get murdered by the men on the walls. Okay, the third our lancers are under artillery fire. Quick line focus on the dervishes. They can be quite dangerous once they get onto the wall. Mm, misfires, not very good hits. But here they come. You men form your new form your positions. Fire it well. Oh no, here they, here they come. Okay, right. I might get you guys out of the command building. Because that is under fire. Move the artillery out. Uh, you guys make sure your canister shotting the breach. Keep my cavalry together on one flank. There you go, they're being shot to ribbons. Focus on this corner. Okay, they are going to actually try and assault this section of the wall. Luckily, it's just with armed peasantry for now. Okay, let's commit my cavalry forward. Ultimately, I don't mind losing my cavalry. It means we can get more um, infantry. And if we destroy their artillery, it means that we are less likely to have breaches to contend with. Send my native Indian cavalry to pursue the defeated enemy. 
Household cavalry smash the dervishes. You men fire at will off. They're climbing the wall. Our howitzers are reloading. They're aimed at the corner here. Just looking to shatter rather than rather than kill. Okay, let's get ready to deal with these cuirassier coming in. Okay, the company infantry needs to push up to support this attack. Quick climb. Pick new targets. Lancers are going to be coming in. Okay, the Lancers are chasing down my light cavalry, which is just fine. Let's go deal with the enemy infantry. Company troops. I oh, know the Hindu. Hindu warriors are still coming in. Excellent. Heavy cavalry sally out to attack the enemy troops to the to the front. Some enemy troops are going to start pushing through. Make sure you guys are fire at will off. I mean, my lances, my cavalry may actually beat the lances after the initial charge has gone in. The enemy general's bodyguard's got to be looking a bit vulnerable right now. Excellent. Polygar. Not down to 18 men. They're shattered. We may get bogged down here, though, with our attack. Depending on how much decisive momentum we can build. Although we are. Both of our guys are wavering because of the Pindari musketry. That's ridiculous. Not that I'm, not, not that, I'm that bothered. It means we get more infantry. You men man your main battlement. Let's bring this Indian native cavalry back. Bit of a shame, but not terrible. They're probably going to successfully get away. Those Polygar are not going to outrun our cavalry. Come the Bajir Lancers. We got a volley off against them and an a couple of artillery shots. Get the cavalry over here quickly, because by the looks of it, they've got their bloods up. They are forming diamond, which will be tricky to manoeuvre. Yeah, their blood's up. They want they want to charge somebody. Get yeah, my cavalry in close to draw them within range of the this regiment of foot company line. Then we'll run along the wall. within range of this company line infantry unit. No, don't walk, run. Your lives depend on it. A couple of bits of damage to our walls, but nothing too serious. They're gonna get into our gun line. There goes our native cavalry. 
Again, not that I mind. I want more infantry, really. Get my gunners away from the action. Give these men orders to push in. Yeah, they've taken control of the center temporarily. They're just going to go get it back. Uh, we're going to open a gate for our artillery to escape. You guys are really not doing what you should be doing and manning the fire step appropriately. Gunners, man your guns. Okay, howitzers. Get quick climbing. The cavalry hit my native cavalry, that is fine as well. I mean, you guys are only here just to stop people from running through these gates. More lancers coming in. If they're going for our, in if they end up going for our infantry, we will just drop them into squares. Is this gate closed yet? It should be closed. It's only open because the howitzers are trying to maneuver go on you men engage form square I think you need to get into the command HQ You're trying to interdict our reinforcements. That's not going to work. You could try and kill the general's bodyguard with artillery fire. Although we need to start sweeping away some of this depleted infantry. It's got rid of one Takani Lancer unit. Oligar is gone as well. Although, I may run one unit out on either flank to just act as a bit of bait to lure troops past the walls. If you're engaging as fast as you can but doing little damage, cavalry, the camels are still coming. Indian infantry guards are coming, but they are depleted. Good, that gate is finally closed. Come on, you men. Fire it all off and on again, just just to keep refreshing their engagement cycles. Man the wall again. Get these guardsmen in. Square. Sadly, you're not firing your muskets. It might just be easy just to get them in. I think that that unit's going to get chomped by multiple squares. 
That unit's going to get chomped by multiple cavalry units, I should say. Keep an eye on them to make sure they don't drop out of square. If they can hold the square, they'll kill lots of their cavalry and push them back. But if they do not... Killed one of the generals. Oh, this poor unit. They're gonna they're gonna hoover up all of the enemy cavalry. Safe to say they are not going to survive. Actually, no, you can keep firing. It's just it's cheap. Cheap kills. Oh, yes. The camel shot a bunch of Polygar in the back. Very handy. You men, don't worry about what's going on back here. You men engage that two man right there. Keep fighting. Yeah, you're fighting off these mercenaries quite nicely. Holding. This, in this infantry unit is taking a lot of damage, but it's done. <laughs> it's held up the enemy cavalry force really nicely. There we go. There goes the Indian cavalry guard, the Royal Indian Infantry Guards. boys versus mercenaries still ongoing should get bets Ooh, okay right let's get ready to box up another gate or another um, breach i should say There you go, these men finally broke, but they've done sterling work. They may well end up getting destroyed, but that's a risk we're willing we are willing to take. Mr. Carly Lancers got shown the door. Tune of Polygar. Grab the center again, but we're just going to run someone over. Just a scooch. Okay, get ready to engage the camels. I'm assuming it's this 12 pounder that's come in at the back that's actually doing the useful stuff. Switch one, how it's at a round shot to keep engaging the. Keep engaging the um, enemy general. Although we did just kill one. Is that him? It's a different general. That's a different general again. So this Campbell unit, yeah, they've had enough to... You men keep doing good stuff. I don't mind if this unit falls as a result of the destruction of this section of the wall.
I suppose you should, uh, my howitzer should really be focusing on attacking the enemy reinforcements as they come in. My infantry is nearly gone. That's another full unit of infantry on the way. Your musket, reser musket ammunition reserves are okay. You should be annihilating that unit of secret musketeers. How it just can't really get them because that's too close to go boop. Eighty percent. I'm sorry, 125th Regiment, you are not needed. Keep dropping quick climb on or one drop quick climb onto the pikemen, another drop them onto the musketeers. We've got Islamic swordsmen coming in. Okay, what and what needs to happen really is a more right angled engagement zone like this. Misfire. I mean, you guys, you guys can't attack through that breach yet, so I don't know what you're doing. These mercenaries just hold the line in the rear. You men get up about over the gate, just so you can pour more musketry onto the seat musketeers. Keep the general in the center. Again, I'm sorry. 125th. I'm sorry, you have to go through this. You men still have ammunition. You can keep firing. Now oh, this seat musketeer unit's going down. Ah, oh, the dervishes got hit while trying to flank. Yeah, they're done. I believe though that might be it soon. Their last great offensive. All of you men fire at will. Gunners. When the rubble clears, engage that breach. Oh, now it's the reinforcements from the other direction coming in. There they go, they finally made it through one of their own breaches. enough of that. Although is that the last unit of infantry to come in? Yeah, lots of quick climb coming in, pikemen are routing. Is there any cavalry? Oh they did, they got shot down. Swordsmen are getting ready to engage. The peasantry are. They haven't even made it in yet and they're wavering. Okay, let's see what happens. By the looks of it. 
that's going to be GG. But of course, you have to actually knock them out first. Okay, get the howitzers to work on the this unit of Islamic swordsmen. Then we can start to push units out to attack the guns and then see them off our land for good. Just let the quick line knock some holes in this Islamic swordsman unit. They'll soon have enough of that. They're trying to make another breach. I mean, I suppose part of this is about trying to make any subsequent actions a little bit easier. Make sure our gunners there cease fire their artillery. But yes, any follow-up attacks they make against us will be a little bit easier if they've got more breaches because we it's more challenging for us to cover them all. I suppose that's the rationale. Either way, let's knock out these gunners. And we'll work on the rest. Excellent. Good deal with this unit. Okay, just attack ground in front of them. It seems like attacking the unit itself is just not working. The rationale is quick line that unit. Because these units, these howitzers can attempt to round shot. Actually, they may as well try and round shot. No, you have to round shot these units. Oh no. The uh, pikemen came back. Knock out the 12 pounders. Chomp. Okay, let's start on one edge, pick at the pick at one unit, then the next, then the next, then the next. Don't charge them all, because that could be risky. That's all of them actually. So yeah, we do want to continue. Chase down the artillery and kill the kill the crew. Oh no, there we go. Still a victory. A mighty victory. Good kills all round. Oh, 4,800 men lost for the, for the Marathas. But there's plenty more troops where they came from. So we have to simply rebuild to get to the same spot. We need these areas to keep fighting while we gain momentum elsewhere and potentially some of these troops may have to uh, Savoy declared on us let's see if the Ottomans join us they do that's to be expected but let's check to see if that may has any real world impacts to impact on us I don't think it does hey Norway Keep doing what you're doing, Norway. Napoli rebels. Just kill them. <laughs> okay. We've got a lot of housekeeping. Raids in the wetlands. We don't mind all these raids. What we do want is... Combine our weakest units into our other units to boost their strength. In this case, that 15 unit of Sipoys can move out. I mean, this this element can, can, can replenish, but everyone else needs to be combined. Combined, and when they get sufficiently small, be pulled out. So now you, 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 you. Oh no, just three. Okay, let's take the guard unit because they're bugged. 
their bug to have a few more men than they should have. Good. Hernando Guerrero. Guerrero. You can do this. You're an actual army, so you can be committed to fight some of these smaller... Well, go kill this force. Just destroy them. Push them back. No, go in. So these are the two gunnery elements of both these armies. You can go chop up these leftovers. Right, I think the time has come to separate these armies out again into proper field armies. Because this situation at Calcutta is not as precarious as it was. A general plus... I mean, we need, really, we need heavy cavalry. Rather than light cavalry. But that's pretty good. This was a really good win for us. We can't actually make take advantage of it yet. Well, actually, yes we can. We can deploy this army that's been recruiting. Salam nice and calmly. Guerrero. Land them at Pondicherry. Can you get to the south of this army? It looks like you can. You're not within range. You can't kill them yet, but you will. Recruitment is ongoing at our cots. The garrison attacking, the force attacking my saw is replenishing. There's no one around to really help, apart from this force up here at Goa. Enemy raids, we don't really mind. We've researched machine rifling, so more skirmishes are the order of the day. We need to deal with that port, with that fleet, for sure. They could break our blockade of the coast. So let's just keep everyone nice and happy. Okay... So in Guatemala, upgraded the ports, the farms, and it. Yep. York factory. Have you converted the people yet? Not yet, but soon. Oh, we've done all the stuff in Guatemala. Tripoli. Max out. Our investment here. Pondicherry. Um, I mean, there's no point upgrading it yet. Tampico. Keep boosting. Good, good, good. Okay. You can leave Mexico City now, which is super. Let's get the, the rake into his force. Actually, no. Hey, yeah. mm, not really what we're after. Gonzalo Franco. Uh, let's not get 24 pounders because they'll never get here. 212s. Three cavalry, two infantry. Get a native bow unit and get a colonial line unit. Cool, then you'll be done. I mean, in Mexico, you could eventually start to build... With that force can be built up to be a defensive force. Okay, howitzers are on their way. 
We still need to take the Windward Islands. We haven't got there yet. Upgrade Savannah. More ships are on their way. More recruitment up here that's going on. You, does that make you ready? Doesn't quite. That's your gun you're waiting for. They lost their movement orders. Cool. More ship recruitment. Okay, we haven't touched Europe at all yet. Oh, there's another army. Where to drop them? Rui doesn't like it when I drag, right click and drag. Come on, I've stopped doing it. Okay. Let's land this army off the coast of Mysore. Come on, make landfall. Just to provide a bit more cover for the force invading. Or getting ready to capture Mysore. Let's bolster the blockading, blockading um, forces. Agents trying to break our stuff. Lots of recruitment, rioting in Liguria. Yeah, they've they chilled out. Okay, so Savoy declared war on us. By the sounds of it, what that means is that this army is going to land off of the coast of Cagliari. They may well attempt to attack us with these forces, but they all look heavily depleted, so I'm not anticipating a huge military challenge. This fleet suddenly has an objective. Blockade Algero. Excellent. Can you guys go kill those rebels? Alright, so suddenly this territory is looking pretty good now. Get our upgrades going, get Mr. Castro up. It's still going to take some time, we are going to keep... Let's get rid of the six pounder horse artillery. First of all, you men need one howitzer. Let's start to recruit loads of line infantry. Okay, so up here in Europe, Brussels is ours. We're retraining. Demand the surrender. Well, just auto result, just to capture Amsterdam, because that's just ours. Get rid of the university. Okay, let's repair the government buildings, replenish the army because they're quite weak. You can... Oh, right. You need to whip around and intercept some of these armies. You're going to catapult yourself to Cologne and try and demand the surrender of the city. Just hold on to it for now. Although you're really quite weak. That might not necessarily be the best idea. I mean, I can move you up to semi-reinforce. You guys move east. Okay, suddenly these sloops are no longer blockading forces. They're occupying forces. Same with you at Calais. Right. The main strength, the main enemy strength is still to the south. I would like to try and take that bridge, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it. 
these armies keep replenishing because they are going to want to move east fortify milan get ready start to build garrison forces same way we had to do for turin okay apart from that the europe's kind of secure Okay, let's collect this garrison, or this... Oh, that's not a proper army, is it? Right. Okay, in which case you continue to raid Mammal. That's what this London force is going to be for then. Oh, they're actually ready. Collecting my battle fleet. Move my militia garrison out of Greenwich. Review men in. Embark them. So new men. Oh no, don't do that. They were going to land off the coast. Don't do that. No, 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 no. I suppose they can't get it. They couldn't get into Memel. Disembark the army in good order. Yib. Königsberg is ours. We're probably not going to be able to take it in one turn. Or get it under control in one turn. As much as I would like to. Because Gdansk is also just empty. would be quite worthwhile but yeah for the most part this this action kind of needs to well you can do it actually let's do a bit of an old switcheroo you're quite vulnerable if they well actually no you're pretty good if they elect to attack which i don't think they will we'll be okay you need to okay if i attack that fellow heinz kornberg Oh, they're really depleted anyway. It's all to resolve that. You men attack Marcus Schley. Yeah, they are also incredibly depleted. Sebastian Serrano, push for the bridge. Everybody just needs to replenish just a little bit more. Crispy. Okay. Crispy, go to the Netherlands. You men push for the bridge. You men push up behind them. You men are, are going to be in kind of the right position to support. Strasbourg will recruit some extra line infantry. But then your front line is pretty darn good. The other thing I have to set up before I end the episode is this. Somehow, they got a fleet to sea. We need to destroy it. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of the last Marathon fleet. Cheers everyone.